Far from our home planet of Earth, past Mars, the asteroid belt, and Jupiter, over 1.2 billion kilometers from Earth, we find the majestic ringed planet Saturn. At about 83 times the surface area of Earth, Saturn is a gas giant, with such notable features as 500 meter per second wind speeds and its trademark north polar hexagon and vortex. Orbiting around the planet are 62 known moons, as well as innumerable moonlets too small to be considered real moons. Among these hundreds of satellites is one of the largest and most complex unmanned interplanetary spacecraft ever built. It's called Cassini, and with its dramatic grand finale quickly approaching, it's the perfect time to look back on a few of its many groundbreaking discoveries. The Cassini spacecraft was launched into space on October 15, 1997, with the intended goal of entering orbit around Saturn to study the planet and its moons. Instead of taking a direct path from Earth to Saturn, Cassini made two gravitational assist flybys of Venus, one of Earth, and one final flyby of Jupiter. Each of these passes provided a boost to Cassini's momentum, allowing it to make the long journey to Saturn using less propellant. During its six-month flyby of Jupiter, Cassini was able to capture about 26,000 images of the gas giant, including the most detailed global color portrait of the planet. On July 1, 2004, Cassini arrived at its destination. Thus began the most significant studies of Saturn and its moons to date. While Cassini wasn't the first craft to visit Saturn, it was the first one intended to stay there rather than just snap some photos on the way by. Because of this, the craft was fitted with some very specialized equipment, such as the Huygens lander, designed specifically to be dropped off on Saturn's largest moon, Titan. On January 14, 2005, the Huygens probe became the first man-made object to land on a world in the outer solar system, the furthest from Earth any craft has ever landed. What you're seeing now is actual footage from the lander's cameras as it descends toward Titan's surface. The thick haze begins to clear about 45 miles above the surface, revealing some amazing features scientists hadn't expected, such as dark drainage channels, indicating that Titan once had rushing rivers of liquid methane. The Huygens team thought Titan might have had a global ocean of hydrocarbons, so they designed the lander to float and be able to survive a liquid landing. As it turns out, there are large seas on Titan, but only at the poles, though scientists suspect that the Huygens landing area is an ancient lake bed or floodplain. In addition to the Huygens lander's findings, Cassini was able to gather mountains of useful data regarding this fascinating moon. It discovered the locations of bodies of liquid hydrocarbons, including one not far from the Huygens landing site, determined that Titan has active weather patterns, and that much of its surface is made of frozen water. Cassini helped scientists determine that Titan is an incredibly promising world to explore, with the thick, diverse atmosphere surrounding the moon and the abundance of liquid methane and the potential for liquid water, Titan could very well support forms of life different than what we see here on Earth. But Titan's not the only exciting moon orbiting Saturn. Over its time in the Saturnian system, Cassini has been able to make intensive studies of Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest moon. Enceladus caught scientists' attention with its spectacular plumes, which make up most of the material in Saturn's E-ring. These plumes are jettisoned from what are called cryovolcanoes, which erupt water and other volatiles instead of silicate rock. Cassini has identified over 100 of these geysers, which combined blast about 200 kilograms of water, ice, and other materials into space every second. Some of this water vapor falls back to the surface as snow, while most of it becomes incorporated into Saturn's E-ring. These geysers, along with the moon's proximity to Saturn and its other moons, indicate that Enceladus is geologically active, meaning its interior is heated. This is exciting because heat plus water ice equals water, and in this case, an enormous subsurface ocean with a suspected depth of around 10 kilometers. This discovery was huge. The presence of a salty subsurface ocean heated by geological activity could mean that Enceladus has all the necessary ingredients for life. If we take Earth as an example, in any place where water exists, there is life. Even the intensely hot deep sea thermal vents are home to hardy bacteria and microbes. If the same holds true for elsewhere in the universe, then we could very well find life on Enceladus. There are a handful of plans to return to the icy moon for further research and to search for existing life, with one such venture hoping to launch by 2021. After 20 long years in space, gathering troves of data no one could have imagined, Cassini's life is coming to an end. But it will not go gentle into that good night. NASA has devised one final glorious mission for Cassini. Beginning April 22, 2017, the Cassini spacecraft will begin a series of dives between Saturn and its rings, something no other craft has ever done. It will make a total of 22 loops, and on the final dive, enter Saturn's atmosphere, where it will streak across the sky and burn away, transmitting data until it goes offline and becomes forever a part of the planet it studied for so many years. Cassini's grand finale is scheduled for September 15, 2017. It seems a shame to see such a successful craft destroyed after so long, but it's a fitting end, and a necessary one.
Since Cassini is running out of fuel, it's important to take measures to avoid it crashing into Enceladus or Titan and contaminating the moon with microbes and bacteria from Earth. Cassini discovered the potential for life on these moons, and it seems a fitting end for the brave little orbiter to protect them with its dying breath. Without Cassini, who knows when we would have discovered the potential for life right in our backyard. With the wealth of scientific knowledge we've compiled from the spacecraft's findings, we're more prepared than ever to make a return trip to the Saturnian system and explore Titan and Enceladus more fully. Landers equipped with ice drills, buoyant probes, even submarines could be sent to explore the depths of Titan's hydrocarbon lakes or the vast subsurface oceans of Enceladus. We know there are likely life-changing discoveries to be made, and it's all thanks to Cassini. If you'd like to learn more about Cassini Huygens and their findings, check out the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on these exciting discoveries. You can watch my other space-related videos by clicking here, or watch all my videos by clicking here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.